good evening today's quote is by aristotle you will never do anything in this world without courage it is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor you will never do anything in this world without courage it is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor today's word is cousin trick or deceive obtained by deception he was able to cause an a profit today we are going to discuss relations but before that uh, we have to discuss concept of ordered pair and then cartesian product of two sets this is very interesting cartesian product now the coordinates of a point in a plane refer to two coordinate axes x and y in the plane are ordered pairs the ordered pair the ordered pair 4 7 is different from ordered pair 7 4 because when we say 4 7 x coordinate is 4 y coordinate is 7 and when we say 7 4 x coordinate is 7 and y coordinate is 4 right so in general an ordered pair a comma b an ordered pair ab represents two objects a and b which must be taken in that order only now is it possible to have ab same as ba yes provided a and b are equal is it possible that ab is cd yes provided a is same as c and b is same as d so this is about ordered pair which we already discussed now the next concept is interesting it is cartesian product cartesian product uh, next uh, rest part i will not write it is actually cartesian product in uh, i i'll write that of two sets cartesian product of two sets if a and b are two non empty sets then the set of all ordered pairs a comma b set of all ordered pairs a comma b where a belongs to first set that is set a and b belongs to second set b is called cartesian product of sets a and b it is denoted by a cross b how to read this a cross b c r o s s just like you read a bar cross b bar vector product so this is a cross b so how will you define a cross b it is set of all ordered pairs a comma b such that a belongs to a and small b belongs to b that's it okay now we'll take example suppose a is um 2 3 and uh, b is uh, say a b so it is a cross b a cross b is 2 a 2 b again this order is immaterial which one you may say i will write 2 comma b first and then 2 comma a absolutely right then 3 a 3 b that's it but you cannot say that i will write i will write a comma 2 instead of 2a no now note that in a set a there are two elements in a set b there are two elements so in a cross b there are how many 2 into 2 that is four element what will be b cross a i will not write that but b cross a will be a2 a3 b2 b3 see a cross b is not the same as b cross a but number of elements in a cross b same as number of elements in b cross a i hope you are getting this now is it possible to have cartesian product of a set with itself yes it is possible so how will you define a cross a i can say a cross a is set of ordered pairs i can again use a comma b but then i have to say a and b both belong to set a suppose i write a as 1 4 can you tell me what is a cross a type your answer in chat box 
you can do one thing. Uh, suppose first element you want to write as two four. I know two four is not an element of this. Then just write twenty four, comma another element and so on. Type your answer in chat box. Yes, a cross a will contain two into two four elements. Uh, now can we have uh, a cross a cross a? Yes, it is possible. In that case, instead of ordered pair, we get ordered triplet A B C, such that all of them they belong to set A only. Now I will not write this, but there will be how many? There will be two into two into two. That is eight elements in all. Okay. Yes. now let us discuss the concept of uh, relation uh, here i have written two sets right set a and set b set a contains names of some players and set b the games which some of these players play now virat is associated with cricket sindhu is associated with badminton Sanya is associated with lawn tennis. Anand and Dhanraj, these two players have no association. Again, swimming is not associated with any of the player. Now, if I ask you, if I ask you to write A cross B, there will be how many elements? In set A, there are five. In set B, there are four. So, twenty elements in all. For example, Virat badminton, Virat cricket, Virat lawn tennis, Virat swimming, then Sindhu badminton, Sindhu cricket, Sindhu lawn tennis, Sindhu swimming, and so on. But here, if you use the relation, clearly these two sets are related. I can tell you the rule of or law of relation also that a player is associated with the game he or she plays, right? Now, if I want to write R. this relation as an ordered pair then it will be what i will write in short virat cricket okay uh, sindhu badminton and then sanya lawn tennis okay you will notice you will notice that this r this r is a subset this r is a subset of what a cross b so how will you define relation from set a to set b it is nothing but subset of cartesian product a cross b now a is called as a is called as the domain of the relation b is called as codomain of the relation here badminton is called image of image of sindhu under the relation r and sindhu is the pre image pre image of badminton under relation r so this is not at all difficult so what is relation in short relation is nothing but subset or relation from set a to set b is nothing but subset of cartesian product is that clear so we say actually when we define relation we cannot use this particular example because uh, you may also ask uh, suppose instead of player some film stars are there then uh, what will be the relation like that so when we define relation we have to use general cases like uh, a is an element of set a and b is its image then we say that these are related and how to write this we write this as a r b means what a is related to b okay so this is nothing but uh, the relation between sets <clears throat> obviously here uh, we can we can write this in the form of set i will consider the previous example so i can say that domain i will not actually write that but domain 
consist of which elements virat sindhu sanya okay and codomain is this set but there is one more word that is range of the relation range is set of all images see swimming will not belong to the range it will belong to the codomain fine because it is an element of the set b but it is not an image of any of these players any of these elements so what will be the range the range will be badminton cricket lawn tennis right so clearly clearly range is a subset of what this codomain set b okay now i will ask you one question you have to type your answer in chat box suppose suppose there are two elements in set a and there are three elements in set b then how many total number of relations are possible see a and b are two non empty sets right because in the definition only uh, we say that in cartesian product uh, when we take cartesian product of two sets they are non empty sets so i repeat in the set a there are two in the set b there are three elements then can you tell me total number of relations type your answer in chat box i'll tell you now see i have already told you that relation is a subset of cartesian product set a has two set b has three so cartesian product has how many elements 2 into 3 6 if in a set there are n elements number of subsets is 2 raised to n so if a set has six elements number of subsets which is same as number of relations is 2 raised to 6 that is 64 so answer is 64 okay now just read this just a minute uh, this is the theory part just a minute okay now start from this now binary relation on a set if a is a non empty set then every subset of a cross a is defined as the binary relation on a for example suppose set a contains elements 1 2 3 3 and con uh, consider relation 1 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 now it is uh, a cross a it is 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 clearly there are 3 into 3 nine elements now r is a subset of a cross a so r is a binary relation on a since null set is subset of every set phi is a relation on a it is called empty or void relation on a now every set is subset of itself so a cross a is a relation of a it is called as universal relation on a this is quite logical identity relation let a be a non empty set then r ordered pairs a comma a where a belongs to a is called an identity relation that is pre image is same as image for example if set a is 1 to 4 then the relation 1 1 to 2 4 4 is what it is an identity relation on capital a exercise 5.2 first one if ordered pair x minus y y plus 4 is same as ordered pair 1 2 find the values of x and y actually we have to say that corresponding elements are equal so x minus 1 is 1 and y plus 4 is 
so x is 2 and y is nothing but minus 2 second sum is similar and is for homework uh, let me read third one sets a b are given we are asked to find a cross b b cross a a cross a and b cross b okay first we will mention the sets set a a b c set b x y start writing so tell me what is a cross b this is a comma x i can say a comma y or you may say a x b x c x and so on that is also correct order is immaterial so don't even ask such questions. How many elements? It is not asked, but three into two. So six elements in A cross B. So this is B cross A, this is A cross A, and this is B cross B. Write down. Uh, fourth is for homework, uh, but let me read the sum for you. Uh, actually, sum should have been if P is 1, 2, 3, set P, Q is 1, 4, find P cross Q and Q cross P. Fifth one, set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, B is 4, 5, 6, C is 5, 6. We are asked to verify that A cross B intersection C is A cross B intersection A cross C. Second part, which is for homework, A cross B union C is A cross B union A cross C. So I have written all these sets. Uh, this is B intersection C and so on. Now this is A cross B intersection C, number one. Then A cross B, A cross C and their intersection. So from one and two, it is clear that A cross B intersection C is A cross B intersection A cross C. Sum number six, express X comma Y, where X square plus Y square equal to 100, where X and Y are whole numbers as a set of ordered pairs, right? See, X square plus Y square is 100. And what is the requirement that X and Y both belong to set of whole numbers. Now, if X equal to zero, the first whole number is zero. If X is zero, then what is Y square? 100 minus zero, that is 100. Okay. Therefore, Y is 10. Why not minus 10? Because minus 10 is not whole number. Can I take x equal to 1? No, I can't. Because in that case, y is irrational. So next value, you have to use common sense, trial and error method also. x equal to 6. So y square is 100 minus 36, that is 64. So what is y? Plus minus 8? No, only 8. Because minus 8 is not a whole number. Then x equal to 8. No, I will directly write. So y equal to 6. And when x equal to 10, what is y? 0. Therefore, given set is nothing but 0, 10. Order is immaterial. 6, 8, 8, 6, 10, 0. Right now. Seventh is an important one. Let set A, B, 6, 8 and B, 1, 3, 5 show that 
relation R1, A, comma B, where A is an element of set A, B is an element of set B, A minus B is an even number, is a null relation, not a single element. R2, A, comma B, A belongs to A, B belongs to B, A plus B is odd number, is universal relation. So, all elements are present. We have just seen that A cross B is subset of A cross B. Right. So that is universal. Now, A is an element of A, B is an element of B. A is even, B is odd. Consider even number from set A, 6. Consider any odd number from set B, 1. 6 minus 1, 5. Okay. So, can, can you say that there exists a relation? 6 is related to, rather R1 is relation from A to B, right? 6 minus 1 is 5, it is an odd. But see how that relation is defined. They say A minus B is an even number. Impossible. From an even number, if you subtract odd, you are going to get odd. So what they say is not true. So that is a null relation. I hope you are getting this. Now, Second, A is an element of set A, B is an element of set B, A is even, B is odd, then A plus B is always odd. You can check this. 6 plus 1, 7, 6 plus 3, 9, 8 plus 5, 13. Absolutely true. And therefore, I can say that A, B belonging to R2, or I can write this in short as A, related to B. Now, what does this stand for? This is inverted A and this stands for for all, for every. I repeat, this is inverted A and this stands for for all, for every. So, A related to B for every small A belonging to A and every small B belonging to B. So, this is universal relation. Suppose this is possible only for few elements and not for all the elements, then clearly it is not universal. Then we, we are going to call this as existential. We are going to discuss this in the next year in the topic logic, existential, but this is not existential, this is universal. Sum number eight, write the relation in the roster form, state its domain and range. Okay, so R1 is A A square, A is a prime number less than 15. Okay, now what are the prime numbers less than 15? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Actually, uh, I should have written that. Now I will write it. I have directly written domain of R1, set of all uh, first elements in the ordered pairs. So A is prime less than 15, means 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. What is range? It is set of second elements, that is A square. Now, what are the squares of these? 4, uh, then 9, 25, 49, 121, 169. Okay, but I should have written R1 first. So, what is R1? 2 associated with 4, it's square. Then 3 associated with 9. Then 5 associated with 25, 7 associated with 49, 11 associated with 121, and 13 associated with 169. Okay, because we are asked to write that relation R1. So that's it for today.